Hello everybody, and welcome to a different game. Um, so, if you watch the end, or okay, if you watch the last couple episodes of Grifflands, which is the series that I've been doing up until now, uh, there's been a lot of issues with the face cam, and in the absolute last episode that I did, there's actually some stuttering happening in game. And uh, I'm not sure exactly what's causing it, but I've come to the conclusion that uh, the Griff Lens takes up too much of my GPU, my graphics card, to be able to both record and play it at the same time. I'm not really sure why it started happening on those last couple episodes, because like the first week, I, I feel like it was good. I mean, maybe I just wasn't watching the videos back good enough or something, but uh, anyway. I just want to say, I'm not done with Grifflands. I will go back to it, but it's going to have to wait until I actually have a dual PC setup. Um, so, we're going to put Grifflands on hold. And, if you can obviously, you, you, you click the video, you know what's happening. Uh, we're starting a new game. We're gonna, the Pixel, the Final Fantasy 1 through 6 Pixel Remasters uh, came out on Steam. Well, okay. Three of them were out yet. One, one two, and I think three are out on Steam, uh, but 4, 5, and 6 are not yet, they should come out in, towards, the, I mean, in 2021, which, like, I mean, we're almost out 2021, weirdly enough, saying that, but, so yeah, uh, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't excited to play this, I am sad to stop on the Grifflands, because I really did want to play that, but, uh, here we are, playing Final Fantasy, one of my favorite franchises of all time. Honestly, uh, it, it probably should. The Final Fantasy 13 was my favorite game in all time, or for all time, for a very long time. Until Brave of Default, I played that. But anyway, enough for the <laughs> prologue. Um, so basically, my decision on why we're playing this. One, I mean, come on, Final Fantasy, it's pretty sweet. I mean, I... But two, I, obviously it's it's pretty obvious a pixel remaster. It's not gonna be too hard in the graphics or whatever. Uh, and we have six of them now. I bought the full bundle, so depending on how long it takes me to actually get the PC thing set up, uh, we got plenty to go through. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm a big I'm a big Square Enix Final Fantasy fanboy, so uh, this is gonna be sweet. And I'm excited to play an RPG for you guys. It's my favorite. It's my favorite genre. Um, it just always has been, always will be. And so this, I think this is the first time playing it one on recording. I, Loop Hero would be the closest thing, but it was like a weird roguelike kind of RPG. So, enough of the talking. Let's get into the game. Absolutely new. Yeah. So, what I see one is a lot different than a lot of the newer ones. Uh... Hmm. <laughs> Final Fantasy 1, if you've never played the Final Fantasies, well, I guess... If you played some of the newer ones, but not any of the old ones, Fantasy 1, that's probably the most different. It doesn't have, like, main characters that are other people, or that are, like, set up characters. All the main characters are just your own people that you create. You pick the names, with the classes, and you just play the game. That's it. You start off with all four, and you just go, you don't start off with, like, a main guy, and then you go get more people, and then they're, they all have their own classes and stuff. Well, just, you have what you get. So, um, I've never beaten Final Fantasy 1 before. I've played it on my DS. Well, no, no, no. I have, I have a Game Boy cartridge. It's got like one and two. I played like five minutes or two, even though I want to play through it. Uh, and I, I played like a decent amount of one, but I never finished it. So I'm pretty excited to do this. Uh, I remember Monk being like really powerful. We need a white mage, that's for sure. So let's go. Let's have right here be the white mage. Depending on whether we need a, a full-on black mage or a red mage would be better. I don't remember if Thief does too much. 
You can only have four, so this is a this is a big deal. Um. Hmm. I definitely want a monk. These two are set in stone. These other two. You know what, I think I'm gonna go with White Mage, Monk, or Red Mage, or Warrior. This is what I'm thinking, okay? We need a, a full dedicated healer, would be nice. The Monk does really good just damage, just full dedicated damage. Uh, I need a tank, absolutely need a tank, and I think the Warrior is obviously the best one for that. And then, so if we have a dedicated dealer, damage dealer, healer, and a tank, that's the trifecta right there. And so for the last one, I feel like having someone that can do a lot of, like, utility Probably for the best. And I imagine Red Mage would be the best for that. So, for the warrior, Red Mage. So this is, this is gonna be our crew. Um, so, I didn't really think about names at all. I honestly, this is kind of a last minute thing. I didn't actually expect to be playing this today at all. So I actually just bought and installed this like five, I guess we've been seven minutes recording. So about ten minutes ago, I bought this and installed it. So, ah, uh, okay. I gotta think about this. I don't want to. I want to have some lame names, you know. Um. I remember correctly back when I played this before. I made all the names based around some kind of music. So... How about... Start with red mage. All right, I'm thinking obviously red. I mean, it's pretty. Like, it's covered in red. It's got a bit of white though too. Uh, an easy name would be crimson. I mean, it's just it's red. You know, I, I mean, I could just use suggested names. <laughs> Whoa, I see that's a neat name. Glitz, gray, glitzy. <laughs> These are cool and all. Oh, they're kind of lame. No, I ain't about it. Um. The way I see it, Warrior, Red Mage, and Monk are all dudes. And the White Mage is a girl. So. Hey, this is, this is the worst part about games like this. I, I, I spend way too much time picking names, and I never get anything done. And I, I didn't really. I I should have known this was gonna happen. Honestly. All right. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna pause. I don't want to waste the entire first episode not doing anything. So I'm gonna pause real quick, and then we're gonna figure out the names. Okay. So I'll be right back with the names. All right. We're back. And these are the names we are going with. Uh, since I've been playing a lot of Dota 2. I figured what what is your thing to do than just copy it. So I, I picked four heroes that I felt were fairly close to what these like archetypes are, and then use their real names, or at least their lore names, as the names for these characters. So for start out with the warrior, if you play Dota 2, axe. He's I'm a big brawny red dude with, with a giant axe, and he wears like not a ton of like he doesn't wear like a lot of blood armor, but he has like shoulder plates and stuff. I mean, like, is like probably one of the not maybe not the best, but one of the best like ideas for a warrior. So I use his real name, which is Mogul, or his, like his lore name, which is Mogul. Uh, or this is the first name. So I didn't use like full names or anything. Uh, and then there's Monk. I went with Earth Spirit. And honestly, I probably could have also done Ember Spirit, but I decided Earth Spirit would is I don't know cooler in my opinion. So with Kaolin. Uh, and then for Red Mage, uh, 
the, the majors were a lot harder. Uh, with, with the warrior and monk, uh, easy, like, names are the... I forgot the heroes' names down easy. The, the mages took a while. And I'm not even, like, fully happy with the white mage one. Um, but for red mage, we have Nerith, which is off the hero oracle, because it's a... Uh, mage that does damage, but also heals and, like buffs and debuffs and just like a lot of a lot of utility but like can damage can heal can like buff allies debuff enemies debuff allies or like like just a lot of, a lot of stuff that like makes sense for what red mage also does so i went with his real name which is narrative and then for white mage i couldn't really think of any like female healer specific supports or like just People in Dota, and I could be wrong about that. I, I, maybe I've just not played long enough to. I don't know a lot of the heroes, honestly. I looked, I looked through all of them, tried to match things up, but I went with Io, which is uh, doesn't look any like a white mage. It's just a little wisp. Like if you played Warcraft Three, it's just a wisp. But uh, I don't know. I, one, I like the name. But two, I don't know, it's, I, it's one of the most interesting killers, in my opinion. So. That's probably the one I'm not the, like. I'm like, if you told me someone else and it made sense, I probably would have been like, yeah, you're right. That that just makes a lot more sense. But from what I, from the time that I spent looking at all the characters and like what names that I could pick and stuff, I was the one I went with. So, and obviously the names don't matter. Like the names, it doesn't matter in the long run of this game. I could have named them one, two, three, four. It wouldn't have changed a whole lot. But I, I care about these kind of things. So, ah, have a fun. Anyway. Now that we've wasted enough time, let's get into Final Fantasy, what shall we? With Mogul, Kaolin, Nerif, and Io. <laughs> it's gonna be so sweet. The world lies shrouded in darkness. But the people believe in a prophecy, patiently awaiting its fulfillment. When the darkness fails the world, the four warriors of light shall come. That's us, that's me! Fuck the four warriors! <laughs> After a long journey, four young travelers did at last appear. I love that music change, man! I love Square Enix music. And in the hand of each was clutched a crystal. For map and auto battle, that's new. Uh, move, switch part of it. Change up, change down. Alright, well, here we are. We're starting Final Fantasy. Uh, first things first, uh, let's head into the town. The town of Cornelia. Ooh, I don't. I think there was a mini map before. I'm pretty sure you had to look around and find stuff. <laughs> so sweet. Oh, I'm so excited to find this. All right, so we got the inn here. Uh, weapon shop, armor shop, white made, white 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 spells and black spells. 
That's a huge. That's a huge thing in the other games. Oh wait. Oh yeah, yeah. I think they, they talked about you can do directional movement, or like eight directional movement in these remasters, which is something you couldn't do before. But I can go like sideways, or like diagonal. All right. Uh, I don't. What is this? Okay, cafe. Welcome. Oh, it's the item shop. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. <laughs> okay, all right. Let me calm down. Let's check what we got so far. What's menu? All right. A level one. I have no items at all. Uh, I O cannot use magic yet. That's a little sad. Nerf. No. Uh, so he's got a knife. Clothes, a staff and clothes, a knife and clothes, and staff and clothes. Alright. Alright. I think we're off to a decent. We have 500 money. Gil. My bad. I'm sorry. That's kind of a sin. Not the same money, but Gil. Alright, well, let's talk to people. King is searching for the prophesized warriors of light. Those are crystals, you must be seeing the king at once. Okay. Well, I was gonna talk to people in the town, but instead we have dialogue. Welcome, travelers. I am told you carry crystals. Is this true? And yeah. It's just as Lucan's prophecy foretold. When darkness veils the world, four warriors of light shall come. Your Majesty, we cannot be certain that these are the warriors foretold by the prophecy. Yet they stand before us with the crystals. I cannot dismiss this as mere coincidence. I mean, everyone, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna dog in this game, dude. Crystal bearers, there is a task I would ask of you. Do you rescue my daughter, Sarah? Garland, a knight once in His Majesty's service has abducted Princess Sarah. I ask for your aid in the, in the name of His Majesty, the King of Cornelia. Garland has taken refuge in the Chaos Shrine, which lies to our north. Of course, we did attempt to save the princess ourselves. But Garland is the finest swordsman in the kingdom. We have none who can match him. I have heard that you wish to journey to the continents to our north. The bridge leading north was lost long ago, with the passage impossible. You can rescue Sarah. I will have the bridge rebuilt as a token of my gratitude. Go now, warriors of light, and do not fail me. Alright! We have our quest. We have our first heading. The day to girl in town knows many odd bits of information. If you find yourself astray, try talking to her. You might know something that could put you back on course. Alright, so... This game, uh, obviously is older, so it doesn't have, like... Uh, quest here, like go here, do this, like like in the corner, like if uh, Grifflands, you know, it had like the little quest tab in the top right that told me what to do, where to go. Uh, like this is old, don't have this kind of thing. So the talk, the dancing girl in town is our like guide, I guess. Oh boy. Hello. Well, was once the greatest knight in the kingdom. Power consumed him, and he lost sight of who he really was. Uh, so there's gonna be a lot of dialogue in this game too, like Grifflands. Uh, I'm probably only gonna do voice like voice acting for like major characters. Like if you heard there, I tried to do like a deeper voice for the king and a higher pitched voice for the chancellor. But for just random NPCs, I'm probably not gonna be doing much of voice acting or anything. But I will be talking to them because it's an old it's an old RPG, and that means if you talk to everybody, most sometimes you'll get items. It's like Pokemon. If you ever play Pokemon. You gotta talk to everybody in the town because they'll give you things. And sometimes it's just dialogue. A lot of times. But sometimes we give you items. Oh, her Majesty's power overcome with grief. Put herself inside her chambers. Please try not, to, try not to upset her. Oh, this is a queen! I am Jane, Queen of Cornelia. Please, please be my daughter. I said I'd like to be safely. Alright. And I am now in the queen's bed. Let's go, boys. We did it. Oh, sweet. I gotta run.
Guess the truth for the prophet says you're. Oh wait, yeah, you're the one that took me here, you jerk. I was gonna talk to the people. Okay, they all gonna say that. Hello. Oh, it's the queen's. So they have two daughters. Okay. We gotta make sure we check every nook and cranny. There could be treasure. Port to the guard of the flood, north of the princess, to the chaos shrine. Alright, well, let's, we have our task. Let's head on to it. 